Hello, and here's the news from Brigton Farm with Lindsay up from the Quilt Quine and Nessie the Scotty Dog. So, haven't got any projects on right now because of lockdown, I suppose, and the workshop's quite tidy. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to give you a tour. Do come in. So this building is an old farm outbuilding. It was never built as a studio, so it's not perfect, but I've managed to fill it up with all my stuff. So it's got concrete walls, which can be pretty chilly in the winter, and it's got windows all around. So I am limited for wall space, but we've certainly got a lot in here. So I've got a really cheapo carpet on the floor, which is concrete. That does help a little bit. And I've put insulation up on the ceiling and tented it with some calico. So as you can see, I've got my Bonina Q24 on a frame here. Uh, a really big table, which usually I would use for workshops or for cutting things out. This table has a big cutting mat if I want to do dressmaking. Underneath I have a padded bit of table for screen printing. And underneath that is my family heirloom, my Victorian farmhouse table, which we brought 500 miles from Norfolk on the roof of the car. So from this angle, I used to have a Welsh dresser with cups and teapots on it for when I did have visitors. Oh, that's Nessie under the table. She's always here helping me in some way, or getting in the way. Um, but I've recently swapped the dresser for my dehydration station, thinking I'd better be prepared for the second wave, so I can dry raspberries, mushrooms, and even homemade pasta. I have a lovely old sink, which is absolutely filthy. It's just about big enough to wash off my screens when I'm doing printing. And uh, what else have I got? A few rosettes, not that many, and my camera person's being attacked from below. <laughs> So I'm afraid we had to uh, bring Nessie into the shop because she was being a little bit silly and chewing everybody's feet. But she's quite fascinated. This is the overlocker or the serger. I spent a whole day fixing this blooming thing last week. I've got a cupboard here full of uh, show quilts that I've recently folded nicely. Up here I have got uh, two dressmakers dummies, a slim one and a slightly more generous one. Over in the corner I've got my uh, heat press, I love that gadget, a great one for gadgets. Yet another IKEA trolley. A ridiculous quantity of stationery is stored in this trolley behind me and a chair barricade to stop a small dog going from behind the quilting machine and chewing the cables. One of the things that I absolutely love to do is go and reconstitute junk that I have found, which can be a bit of a hindrance at times, but every now and again it does work out quite well. So I've got an old Formica table here, which has got a few bits and bobs in it. This one I found out in the garden and covered with some oil cloth. And underneath I have got some trusty IKEA baskets with my fabric stash. This tall one in the middle bugs me slightly because it's full of stuff that I can't throw away but it's really quite ugly but hey it's all useful stuff and over there I've got my main sewing machine for piecing my swivelly chair and one of several IKEA trolleys this room has actually been quite recently uh, tidied I am a great one for chucking things out and then regretting it but that old cupboard over there now contains all my screens and my inks and a collection of dyes which is quite handy it's even got a lift down flap. It's for baking really, but one of these days I'm gonna find a use for it. So that's most of this room, except I did forget to mention that this is a full-sized wicker coracle. Yes, you heard it, it's a boat covered in bronze spandex and chamois leather. I don't know where else to put it, so it just hangs up there. So if you'd like to follow me, we actually have another room to visit as well. This section used to be part of a double garage, but uh, I put up a partition wall and just stole some more space so I could fill it up with yet more sewing loveliness. We have another long arm machine, which is absolutely wonderful. It's a little bit dark in here because there's only one window, so it's nice to have some fairy lights above. I've got all sorts of things stashed on shelves. That's a stone circle, would you believe, except it's all made of quilts. I have a library system over here. Well, it's a bookcase actually. That chair needs fixing. This is a shelf of handy items, including macrame, which is one of my latest 
praises. I have a sofa for visitors and anyone else who wants to sit and knit and a trolley full of stuff that they have on hand. This is kind of like my post office. It's files, stationery again, and some old projectors. This shelf did not look as tidy as this a couple of weeks ago, but I've invested in some new boxes, folded up the quilt backings. I've got a couple of customer quilts sitting around. I've got my macrame tied up here, but of course the tails are off the ground because um, Nessie was trying to help. I've got all my machines stashed on the bottom and uh, a couple of shelves full of, well, it is all organised, but I don't know. It's it's not all matchy matchy, but I can find things usually. So I've got everything from glue and tools, files, bits and bobs, quilt rulers, beads, stabiliser, cutting machines, you name it. If you want something, it's bound to be in here somewhere. I have a quilt hanging up here, which is actually hiding an awful lot of things. Behind it, let me just have a sneaky peek, I've got rolls of wadding. I have the old dresser with the teacups, just in case we ever do get visitors again. This is an old jam cupboard. It's full of wool. I don't knit, but you know, it could be handy one of these days. And lots and lots of boxes, should I ever need to send one of my machines back to be fixed. And there's even storage up here with yet more quilts, boxes and stuff. It does get a bit out of control sometimes. Well, Nessie and I hope you've enjoyed the whistle stop tour of the studio. Who knows, if you liked it, perhaps I'll come back another day and show you my quilts and all the things that I've got stashed away in boxes. Bye for now.